Hello, it's Mrs. Ellis. Today we're gonna do tie-dyed shoes. So I have a canvas shoe. It's very important, it's canvas. I'm just putting some painter's tape around the edge where the rubber part is because I don't wanna get any of the tie-dye on there. So we're gonna take the plain white and we are going to turn it into a tie-dye. Now to do this, we're gonna use Sharpie markers or any kind of permanent marker. I have Bic Market markers. So as long as they're permanent, that would be just fine. So what I'm gonna do is get my order down. So you can see I have my rainbow order. And what I'm going to do is take my pen and I can put my hand on the inside. I can just hold it. And what I'm going to do is just start making some dots. So I'm going to start right here. And when I do this, I want to make sure I'm making a nice and dark, really get the ink on there. Going to my next color. And I'm just gonna keep putting circles around. Leave just a little bit of space. And when I'm doing this, it's gonna be very, very important that you are maintaining your rainbow order. Or if you're not doing rainbow, if you just wanna do a couple colors, Make sure that they're colors that are beside each other on the color wheel or they're colors that are um, primary colors, so like red and yellow, yellow and blue. Um, because if you do colors that are complements, those are colors that are opposite on the color wheel, all you're going to do is get your color, but then you're also going to get like a muddy gray color or a brown color. And you don't want to do that. So you can see I'm just making my dots around and I'm going all over. Now I'm not rushing. I'm keeping this pretty orderly because I want my colors to really show up. So instead of you watching me do that, what I'm gonna do is show you my finish shoe. So I have my shoe, and you can see all over, I have my different colors all set up. Now to make the tie-dye effect, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, just rubbing alcohol and um, I put that in a little bowl so I have my rubbing alcohol in here and I have a dropper just your regular medicine dropper so I'm gonna put that in and I'm just gonna start putting the alcohol on the shoe. Now when you do this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna cause the color to start to bleed and run, and it's not gonna happen right away. So what I'm gonna do is add my alcohol all over, make sure I get my tip of my foot, and I'm going to do it on the sides as well. There's really no science to this. If you do something more with lines, you could also use a paintbrush to put your alcohol on. That's totally up to you. Oh, 
So I'm just gonna keep adding some drops. You don't wanna totally saturate the shoe, but you do want to get to where you have the alcohol on there. So you can already see how my colors are starting to blend together. Even though I just did that, I'm gonna add just a little bit more back here. And you wanna let these dry completely. After they dry, then you can wear your new fantastic shoes. So when mine are done, um, they will be the picture that is in front of this post. So you will be able to see them when they are completely done. And have a great day.